In the shadow of your wings, I will abide forever, and hear my spirit sings. I will rejoice in you, my God. Welcome to In the Shadow of Your Wings with Pastor John Marins of the Granby Christian Church. The Granby Christian Church desires the lost to be saved and the believer to passionately pursue Christ in all that they do. Let's join Pastor John Marins for today's message. Friends, with sincere joy, we welcome you to this installment of In the Shadow of Your Wings radio broadcast. We have in the studio with us Linda Starkweather. Welcome, Linda. Thank you, John. It's good to be here. Well, it's great to have you. Linda is a faithful follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. She's a member of the Fellowship Baptist Church on 32nd Street in Joplin, Missouri. She's a hostess at Chick-fil-A in Joplin, working for her son, Rick Starkweather, who is the owner-operator of that restaurant. She has a tremendous ministry there as she waits on customers and on the Lord. Linda has been a dear friend of Jane Ann, my wife of 48 years, and I, and so I appreciate so much Linda and all the things, the kind things she's done for Janie and I. Tonight, Linda's going to share her personal story on how she came to faith in Jesus as her Lord and Savior. But before we hear that wonderful story, let's pray. God, I thank you for Linda. I thank you for her ministry at Chick-fil-A. I thank you for the very first afternoon when she sat down and shared her personal testimony with Janie and I. Since then, we have been dear friends, and Lord, we just count it a blessing to be able to have this time with Linda and to be able to share through this program her testimony with so many others. Would you bless her as she shares? And we're praying this in the name of Jesus and for the glory of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Linda, share with us, how did you become a Christian? <laughs> well, it is interesting. I think I like to hear stories about other people that have come to know the Lord and how that happened. So I'm very happy to share it because what a time it was in my life, and it changed my life. But I was uh, I was born in Fairview, Missouri, which is just down the road from here, and uh, lived on a farm, and I had a an older sister and two older brothers, and I would have called it an idyllic life. Uh, that my memories of that time are very pleasant and fun. Uh, we'd play on, the, you know, on all those fields and everything, and so it, it was a good time for for a child to grow up. Uh, but then my <clears throat> father got a job in uh, Joplin, and we moved there when I was in the second grade. And unfortunately, uh, he began to drink at mm. that time sorry. and so for the next few years uh, the home life was not very pleasant at all and uh, because I would have to say that my father was uh, when he drank was what you'd call a mean drunk and unfortunately my mother was the recipient of his meanness at that time so as a child I would hear the fighting and the yelling and I just drew inward and would hide you know had to get away from it and so it was not a pleasant time when I was about uh, <clears throat> in between the second and the third grade, and I just, uh, my brothers were old enough to come to my mother's defense. And uh, after that, my, my dad uh, kind of sobered up a little bit from that. But it was evident that the, a split was coming. And, you know, back in the 50s, you didn't hear of divorce. But, uh, and it you know, Brother John, it, it broke my mother's heart, even it though did. she had every reason in the world. And, of course, he divorced her. But still, she carried that burden for a lot of years that, that she had failed. And uh, so, anyway, the kids and, we, and her, we moved over on uh, just off of 7th Street on 5th and McConnell. And, and, of course, she had to go to work to take care of us. So she couldn't go to church on Sunday. But I had my brother that was just, Larry, that was just two years older. I uh, had a friend invite him to come to Forest Park Baptist Church. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> so he and I would, he said, sis, do you want to walk up with me? And I said, sure. So we started, we would walk up 7th Street uh, up to Forest Park Baptist. And, uh, you know, here's a child coming into this situation and this Sunday school teacher, Miss Betty, and I said, I can't wait to get to heaven to see her. She uh, took me under her wing and she began to teach me the word 
and she would tell me that I had a heavenly father that loved me. And you know, since my picture of an earthly father wasn't too good, so it was a little hard for me to comprehend. And, uh, but she consistently said that God loved me and that Jesus loved me and what he'd done for me on Calvary, Amen. that he actually died on that cross Amen. for me, for my sin. So I pondered all these things, you know, I thought about them. And uh, I couldn't wait to go back each week and hear more from what Miss Betty had to say. So one day I came home from school because we just lived a block from McKinley and East Junior High at that time. And as I'm walking up, I see my dad's car there. And uh, so I know he's come to some situation, didn't know what. But as I open the door, I hear the, the fighting, and he's yelling. And I just did what most little kids do. They run. So I just shut the door and ran back down to the schoolyard and uh, sat under a big old huge oak tree that was there at the time. And as I'm sitting there, it starts to sprinkle. And... Uh, the tears start and I said to the Lord I looked up through those oak leaves and I said God it may be raining on the outside but it's raining on the inside of my heart and I am so unhappy and, uh, and I sit there for a little bit and I looked up through the sky and I said are you real is is what Miss Betty told me true that you love me and you want, are my heavenly father and you'll never leave me or forsake me and I sat there for a minute, and I felt felt it in my heart, really, and just kind of a peace. And I said, okay, I, I believe you. I believe Jesus died on the cross for me. And I believe it was my sins that he died for. And I'm going to accept you as my Savior. And, you know, I got up from there, and I walked back home. And my dad was gone, which was a blessing for me. And... Uh, I walked back into the same circumstances, but I was different. Yes, yes. I was different. My view on life was different. And, you know, I couldn't wait to get to church on Sunday. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I wanted, I wanted to be baptized. Yes. I wanted to walk down that aisle and, yes. and show people what had happened to me. Yes. And uh, Thurman Kelly was uh, the <laughs> one that baptized me, and I loved that man. He was so gentle and so kind. But uh, it was... Uh, it was quite a day, and I'll never forget. And, you know, life's not easy, but God was with me every step of the way. You know, I had heartache. I had felt losses. Uh, we had financial problems like every most young couples that start out. Brought me a wonderful husband. And uh, But, you know, life was not easy. It has its ups and downs. But I always knew God was with me. I always knew he walked with me. And... Uh, I just praise him for that, and I thank him for that. There's a song that uh, I don't know if you've heard. Cherry Easter sings it and does a beautiful job of it, and it's called Praise the Lord. And it starts out, when you're up against the wall and your mountains seem so tall and you realize, li <clears throat> you realize life not is always fair, you can run away and hide, let the old man decide, or you can change your circumstances with a prayer. When everything falls apart, praise his name. When you have a broken heart, just raise your hands and say, Lord, you're all I need. You're everything to me, and he'll take the pain away. When it seems you're all alone, praise his name. When you feel you can't go on, just raise your hands and say, Greater is he that is within me. You can praise that hurt away. If you will just praise his name. You can overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of his testimony. You will see the darkness go and your faith begins to grow. You're not alone, so how can you be doubt doubting? Lord, you're all I need. You're everything to me. And he'll take the pain away. For greater is he that is within me. For you can praise the hurt away. And that's exactly what we're supposed to do as Christians. Is our life's easy? Not. No. It's not easy. But 
Oh my gosh, it's wonderful because we can go to him with every situation and he can take and give us peace. We can praise that because we know we're not alone. His word tells us that he comes and indwells us yes. and he's with us every step of the way. Mm. Doesn't prevent bad things happening to good people, but we can praise his name in each and every circumstance. Yes, we can. Linda, what a wondrous story, and I can't help but think that this is going to maybe encourage a young person to become a part of a Bible school or a church, because that's where you found the Lord was in Bible school, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't, and what impresses me is that I am so impressed with Sunday school teachers out there that are still on the front lines, Yes, and you know... uh, this is a stray child that comes in. Yes. You know, and a lot of times, you know, they aren't maybe as good as, you know, the child doesn't feel as good. But that Sunday school teacher took, you know, can take that child in and uh, make them feel worth something because maybe their circumstances, they don't feel too worthy. And I can, I see kids come in the church today and I try to make an effort to go over and say hi to them. And I would encourage every Christian in every church out there, notice those children. Yes. They need you. Yes, they do. And if God's put them in your path, then you reach out to them. Because, you know, like I say, Miss Betty ministered to me. She changed my life. Yes, she, she changed did. my life. We want to close in prayer today, and yes. we want to ask the Lord Jesus Christ just to kind of seal the thoughts that you shared with us, Linda, about Miss Betty, Mm -hmm. about the circumstances in life, about the rain on the outside and the rain on the inside. God is just so good to us. And so, would you lead us in prayer? I would would be honored. Father, I come to you right now to say thank you for what you did in my life, for my salvation. And Lord, I'd like to thank you also for all those that you personally died for on Calvary. You died for the other sins of others. You didn't have to, but you did because you wanted to, and God asked you to do it. So, Lord, I'm thankful that you were willing to take on the cross and suffer the anguish that was meant for me in my sin. But, Lord, I know today there are people out there that are hurting. They're trying to decide what to do. And, Lord, I know that you have the answers. So I'm just praying that right now, if they are questioning, if they have questions, if they have a lot of pain and suffering in their life, that they'll turn to you. Because I know that you are the one that can give them the peace and encouragement and joy to meet each and every day. So, Lord, I pray for them. And I pray for that person that maybe has turned away. Maybe they knew you and then they've just turned away. I pray that they will get back into a relationship with you that they will again find the peace that you offer that passes all understanding now we love you lord and we just give this program and and all of the words that have been spoken into your hands and say father use them as you see fit we love you in jesus name amen oh father i agree with linda and her prayer and i just thank you for the opportunity to fellowship with christians who love you so much like linda starkweather does Again, Father, would you take this program and just use it in a very, very special way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Linda's going to be with us, and she's going to share with us in our next broadcast concerning some wondrous thoughts on Thanksgiving. And Linda, we're looking forward to that next broadcast, and I know that our audience is as well. God bless you, and thank you so much thank again you. for being with it's us a today. Privi- privilege to be here. Thank you. Bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to In the Shadow of Your Wings with Pastor John Marins of the Granby Christian Church. If you don't have a church home, they would like to invite you to join them this Sunday for morning worship at 1045. The church is located at 969 Granby Miners Road in Granby, Missouri. Have a blessed weekend and remember to abide in the shadow of his wings. I will rejoice in you, my God, in the shadow your wings
Hi, I'm Sue Taylor, and I host the Faith to Live By podcast, available from the Sky High Podcast Network. Are you looking for a little spiritual pick-me-up as you begin your day? Each weekday morning, I have a short devotional thought to get you going and give you something to reflect on as you go about your day. Faith is not just something you need when you get saved. Faith is something you live by. Look up Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor wherever you get your podcast and subscribe today.